welcome Virgo to your 2024 New Year forecast. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Getting straight into this. And I want to thank everyone for their donations throughout the years, your personal readings, and just being here and following and subscribing and helping out the channel. I wouldn't be here unless it was for you guys. So thank you, everyone. And let's make 2024 the best year of them all. I've been here for four years now um, in, I think it was January, January, February. So, okay. Let's get into this. Having a lot of fun. Going straight into this, you're getting the Nine of Cups coming out for January. So we are going this way. This is going to be winter, spring, summer, and fall. And going straight over here, you already got the Nine of Cups coming out with the wish coming true for the energy around you. is dutiful, hesitant, humble, with a discriminating, diligent, painstaking air. Um, right, with that Virgo energy coming in for the winter time. The overall card for winter is the Akashic Records, clearing old stories, releasing past lives, and feeling that freedom and getting to that freedom. So, and having the Nine of Cups come out in, starting out the January with the Nine of Cups, having a wish come true. How beautiful is that? So, on top of that is a lot of opportunities, wishful thinking, and choices coming in. Searching for that purpose, but also having a little bit of daydream. So, you might even be trying to manifest more um, that's what we do as people, right? We always keep manifesting. So, but just knowing that you're having some kind of satisfactory, it's going to look like a beautiful January for you as you are looking at all these open doors for you, looking for that job. Here it comes, looking for that love. Here I am, right? Just be careful that some of those cups do have snakes in them. So be careful of that. What you might feel sometimes the satisfactory might have a snake. So be wary and use your discernment. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here in February. We have the King of Swords, head over heart over here, feeling very disciplined. Some truth is going to come out about a situation that you've been looking for. So whatever truth you're looking for that's made you very exhausted and it's been kind of making you restless about the situation, something that's kept you in a challenge mode is now going to be revealed to you um, through this speedy communication. Um, yeah. Some of you are also going to be traveling a lot during February, so, right, so, and there's going to be a lot of information and a lot of good contact coming out of that, okay, and that can also cause a lot of exhaustion because it could be travel exhaustion, it could be, you know, jet lag, stuff like that, so let's see, okay, wait, I'm going straight into March. In March, we have we adapting to new situations, new places, new new ideas, having different kinds of um, decisions that need to be made. But feeling like you're in your comfort zone, I do like this, and feeling like your intuition is is on target. Don't tell me it's not on target. You got the Moon card and the Queen of Cups, so your intuitive side is going to be popping. Um, but it is going to feel like you're in a much nurturing time might even have this beautiful queen of cups around you who keeps everything nurturing could be your mom or it could be you know just a friend or somebody but somebody is very nurturing at this time really listening to you wow really there to help out within the situation for some of you, you might even i don't even know where i'm getting this but it came in my head and i'm going to say some of you are getting a new babysitter for your kids and you're just adoring this woman she is like very caring for your children, right? Very caring for the kids. And you just know it. It was like, I knew you were going to be the one to watch my kids. I just, I don't know why, but I knew you would be the one. Okay. She's got that motherly love. So going over here into spring, a lot of open doors just, winter is just full of open doors and new opportunities. Um, within Jupiter over here, you have confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. And you got the Holy Grail. So there's your Ace of Cups coming in, your inner discovery, finding your sacredness, and you are what you seek. So feeling like you have the Ace of Cups over here, feeling like you're... Your cup is overfilled with all this joy, this happiness. You have this great luck coming in. Um, it could even be a new love. Um, you might feel like you're fearing a little bit of change or holding on to something that no longer serves you. 
Um, but it does feel like wh whoever you're holding this on about could be trying to get away with something and you know that they're being dishonest. Um, and the reason I feel like you know that they're being dishonest is because you already have the idea over here of knowing the truth of their dishonesty. So they might be trying to do it again, right? So you're pulling the reins away from them and taking yourself into a different direction away from this person, um, taking on a personal transition. Um, if you know that somebody is being sneaky and trying to get away with something and being deceptive, you are definitely going to take action um, against that so you can keep your Ace of Cups full. Um, so, yeah, in April, you're going to see this person um, in a different light, that's for sure. And you're going to start, you know, really feeling more confident about, you know, what's going on within the situation. If you thought you were... You know, it's almost like, okay, so in February, I knew you were getting away with something. I've come to the conclusion that you were, but now I know for a fact that you are because now my intuition is still really open from March and I can really see what's really going on in this situation. So you might even feel like in May that there's something unpredictable happening um, around you where you feel like things are a little imbalanced and you might feel like things are going to the over extreme, but you're going to try and find the fairness and getting the truth and justification again as you're really nurturing this situation you're feeling like you're in a very practical place and you work very hard um some of you are working parents um and you do feel like you know what this is a time where i'm going to be able to provide financially for my kids so you definitely um are seeing things in a different light as you are really taking this leap of faith over here but it's because your intuition is really showing you what's really going on within this situation this year um there's no illusions there's no disillusion it wasn't me thinking one way or another it's really taking place um but you are definitely holding that pinnacle and making some great progress when it comes to your money um in June, you have the sun. This is where your positivity and happiness are really coming together. Some of you might even be getting a divorce from this person because you do see them trying to get away with stuff that should, you know, and hiding things from you. Um, with the sun over here, you do have this rebirth and you feel like everything is coming together for you positively as you are moving away from the situation. You are going to take yourself to clearer waters and cleaner waters and a place of happiness and stillness and peace. Um, and definitely following your heart in this situation. So it's definitely a time for you to move on. Like I said, for some of you, you might be getting a divorce or something of this nature and feeling like I'm going to move to calmer waters, a place where there's no havoc, a place where I don't have to feel like, you know, you're draining my energy. Um, and this is a place of happiness and good luck and blessings. Um, that's where that Jupiter is coming in with that good luck. Um, feeling the mental clarity and having a lot of breakthroughs and making new decisions for new breakthroughs and new beginnings. So, wow. Definitely feeling your wheel of fortune. There's your luck coming out. So feeling like everything is turning in your favor. Everything is turning in your favor. You have made the leap of faith to take your business elsewhere. Um, let's just put it that way because it could be any situation since it's a general reading um, and finding good luck in that area. Um, in the in the summer, you have the Neptune, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusions as your heart source, all encompassing love, uncon excuse me, unconditional acceptance and serenity. Like I said, you're going to go find your peace and your peace of mind, a place where you feel comfortable with yourself and you, that you can be able to plant your new seeds and feel very satisfied with the results and seeing the results coming towards you. Um, this is where you have clear boundaries that you are very direct in your communication when it comes to people because you are very perceptive about what is going on around you. You're not going to allow people to disillusion you. You're not going to allow people to, you know, try to tell you one thing and, you know, and go out and do something else and try to leave you out in the cold. So, and that's exactly how it felt, right? It felt like, no, this is a place where I am not in lack of mindset. I'm not in lack of money. I don't lack anything. I have everything that I want. I have the Ten of Pentacles. Absolutely. Somebody might even try to say, oh, you're going to lack this and you're not going to have this if you leave me. You do this. You have nothing. And you're saying, no, I'm planting my seeds and making new commitments to myself and watching new commitments come in. So in August, you're going to definitely see the new commitments coming in. You might even see a new brand new love come in as you are loving what you are doing and you know you're just your heart is in the right heart space 
right? And your mind is as well. So you're definitely in tune with healthier things for yourself and in tune with your spirit as well as the universe is watching out for you and really giving you, wow, some of you are really finding true love over here. Some of you are finding a deep soulmate connection. Could be twin flame. Twin flame is only like 1% of the, of the, of the planet, but it could be. Um, more than anything, I'd say a deep soulmate connection that you are uniting yourself with someone who is mutually connected to you um, and the universe is giving you this beautiful gift. Wow. And that is definitely a gift from the universe, this new love or this new passion, passionate idea, passionate job, something you are very passionate about. But no matter what it is, it's very stable, it's very firm, and it's going to last a very, very long time. Um, and it is a gift. Okay, and it could even be something that you've been manifesting, something you've been dreaming about for a very long time. So you could say, my dreams are coming true, okay, because this is a card of manifestation and prayers. So you could say, my prayers are answered. Okay, so definitely whatever it is in August over here, your prayers are answered, okay, to that situation. Okay, in September, it looks like you're going to go into hermit mode over here as you're kind of withdrawing and just kind of seeking your truth and having a little bit of alone time to get down to, um, you know, making amends with whatever your past was and, you know, maybe even getting down to the desires of forgiving, right? So however it is, but you're finding the fairness and the generosity within yourself, um, right? And just really having a truthful moment with yourself. It's really going to be a transformative, transformative, excuse me, that's the word I'm looking for, transformative time um, for you as you are looking back kind of in the past, right, and trying to figure out, you know, how am I going forward? How would I get here? Things of this nature because I'm feeling so abundant. Okay, so, okay, some of you might even be doing it for your kids, however it is. Okay, so... Um, going over here into fall, we have the sun and then there it is once again, going straight from September into October. It's saying your immortal spirit purpose and destiny is involved. And that's what we're talking about. That transformative time of being in the hermit is kind of like going after your purpose, seeking your truth, seeking where it is you truly need to be. How am I going to do this? Right. Everything's going well. How do I keep it going? Um, right. So how do I keep growing? Um, you have the Akashic Stargate, which is aligned with your purpose, crosswords, no wrong path at this time. You're already right where you need to be. So unless you really journeyed off really far from where you are right now in the summertime, um, then you'd have a problem, right? <laughs> but otherwise, journeying where you are now, pretty much there is no wrong path, right or left, it doesn't matter. See, right or left, it doesn't matter. Don't allow yourself at a crossroads. Don't make that decision too hard. There's no reason to. You already are gifted with spiritual gifts and blessings. So there's not a whole lot, you know, and more, more than anything, it's about the healing and the rejuvenation and just feeling whole again, right? As you're manifesting and making magic happen into your life, you're going to see a lot of magic in October happening as you're getting to your Ten of Cups. So very beautiful. Your immortal spirit is feeling like it is aligned with the purpose, right? That's what I said, right? There's no wrong path. Don't make it so hard, right? Don't overthink the situation, okay? Because you're already right where you're supposed to be. Right or left doesn't matter, okay? As long as you don't go so far backwards, you know, onto some pathway you've dumped, right? Then you screw that all up. Um, but that's so rare, guys. That's not going to happen, okay? Nobody's going to do that, okay? <clears throat> so in November, you have the Page of Wands, Inspirational Ideas, Freedom. You might even have this beautiful Page of Wands who is coming to you for some kind of a message that has to do with this deep love that you have. Because I'm telling you, some of you have really deep love coming in for you. Um, if it's not, it's about this passionate idea. Maybe it's a creative thing that you're doing, okay? So... <clears throat> Where you're going to feel like it's a little bit of a burden and you might have to put in a little more hard work than you actually wanted to do to actually build this up. So you might feel a little bit of burden and a little heart, a little heartache in its own way um, because it's going to feel like, oh, this is never, you know, going away. This is seems to be going all month long. Um, but to build this and to really have this really build up, you're going to have to put in all the extra oil and elbow grease, right? oil yourself up like the tin man over here and get that elbow grease going 
Um, in December, you have the High Priestess coming out, so you're in the knowing. You may be keeping something a little bit of a secret from someone, um, so you, your secrets, you know, as you're attaining some kind of goal over here as you're looking out. Um, yeah, because you have the victory and the public recognition over here. There's a lot of good news and rewards coming out as you're working in your way into your new world and your new completion. You might be having a tower moment with someone. Um, it's a little bit of a stormy time with you and maybe a Scorpio, um, okay, that could be giving you a little worry or a little fear, um, a little trauma, a little despair. Okay, but otherwise, it looks like you're doing really well. You still have the King of Pentacles. The wealth and the business is going well. So it looks like you're doing well. Just watch this energy here because somebody wants to bring up some crap with you. Um, right? And uh, it just looks like that's just going to cause a little bit of moodiness um, within you. They could be, you know, being a little manipulative about a situation, trying their hardest to give you three of swords. And it looks like it's something that you walked away from already that is trying to make its ugly face back. Okay, so, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.